Morning, it's Larry Bobka here at Second Swing. We're in, our, we're in our putting bay, and Michael has come out from behind the camera. And we're gonna talk a little bit about putting. Um, I see you've got two putters there in your hand. I do. Which uh, happens a lot of times. Somebody comes in and maybe with two or three putters, and they're like, well, which is the right one? And if it's not the right one, um, which one of these should you get? And you know, and if you've walked into our Second Swing Minnetonka store, we've got putters in the bay here, and we have a, what we like to call our corral of putters, so there's a lot of putters out there. So which one is your, your gamer right now? So currently I'm playing the PXG Gen 2 Closer. Okay, so we got a PXG putter. It, it has a fair amount of toe hang, which I would consider this is very close to being full toe hang. Okay, and then this is the other one that you're experimenting with? Yes, yeah, so this is the brand new one, the Scotty Cameron Phantom okay. 11.5. So we've got a Phantom 11 that has a significantly different toe hang to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So the feel at impact, the feel through the ball is going to be different for you. So we need to figure out which one is gonna create the best launch numbers, create the best overspin and side spin numbers. Mm -hmm. um, a big difference there is if, you know, a lot of players come in and they're like, hey, you know, I, I didn't putt good with the PXG, so I went to the camp. Well, you're changing a lot mm -hmm. as far as the dynamics of the putter when you do that. Right. So you have to be aware of doing it. You know, like a lot of times I, I get a player comes in with an old Wilson 8802 that's got hanged straight down, <laughs> and they're like, well, I bought this putter and it's full face. Well, yeah. it's not necessarily going to help you if it doesn't fit your stroke. Right. Just like if you had a driver that if you needed a 9 degree driver and I fit you into a 12 or 13 degree driver, you're not going to hit very good drives, are right. you? Right. So let's do this. Why don't we hit a couple putts with the PXG okay. and see what we get. All right. So let's go ahead and tell me when you are ready. I am ready. Go ahead. Right, so if we take a look at that, you know, I'm gonna start with the good news and then we're gonna to work to the bad news. Okay. Okay, so the good news is we have side spin of 10 or less. We're looking for a side spin of 10 or less. That meaning that it, from eight feet here, if your side spin's 10 or less, it has, you haven't hit a bad putt. Mm -hmm. Pretty good chance it's gonna go in. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of overspin at 84 RPMs, which is good and bad because Here's the bad problem. We got a launch angle of minus 1.23. So what you did with that putt was you actually drove it into the turf, okay? So what happens is if I drive it into the turf and the ball comes out spinning like this, it's not gonna necessarily hit its line because we want the ball to get up on top of the turf and turning over. So let's hit one more with your gamer putter. Okay. And let's see what we get. Um, did you set it up? You, know, you set it up perfectly. You're the man. Yeah. All right. All right. I am ready. Go ahead. Okay. So that's a little bit better launch. But here's the problem. You hit up on the putt a little bit. We lost all our overspin. Picked up a little bit more side spin. So... I'm not really thrilled with your gamer putter because if I put that golf ball in motion, that one right there, ball's actually going backwards. Yep. Not good. No. Nope. Okay. Don't have a lot of side spin, but now, rather than this axis bar kind of coming out going this way, the putt's actually being dominated by side spin. Mm -hmm. So, how is your putting normally? Uh, spotty. Spotty. Definitely spotty. Spotty. Streaky? Yes. Okay. Very streaky. Probably don't like probably don't like slow greens, do you? No. I didn't think so. Okay. And that's because of your numbers that you create. Let's try the Cameron putter that you brought in. Okay. And let's see what we get. Alrighty. Because what I like to do is take the putter that we get the best initial numbers with first, mm -hmm. and then we can really work on zeroing it in. Right. So let's see what let's see what we do here with the Scotty. You tell me when you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Okay. 
That just felt better. Oh, we'll see. Dude, put that in the bag. <laughs> that is absolutely perfect on the launch. So the ball's up on top of the grass, turning over. We've got 32 RPMs of overspin. We have two RPMs of side spin. And if we put that golf ball in motion, remember how bad the last one looked? Yep. Look how good that one looks. Nice. Now we're starting an access bar perfectly. And a lot of players come and ask, well, why does that matter? Well, every golf ball wants to go to true roll. So mm -hmm. no matter how poorly you start it out, it's going to want to get itself to rolling perfect. The more it comes off the putter like that, the sooner it goes to true roll. Mm -hmm. That controls your speed. That controls your line. So when somebody comes in here and says, boy, you know, I just keep missing right to left putts short. Well, normally because they don't have very good launch conditions. Yeah. So let's hit one more with this one. Okay. Because that seemed to be uh, pretty darn good for us. Uh, you know, and the big thing, you know, one of the big things that you have is you've got basically, you know, kind of a blade style putter going to a mallet style putting here. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes visually it's hard to get over for some players, but let me tell you something. You're going to start to fall in love with that putter. I already am. Yep. All right. So give me one second here. You are ready to go. Go ahead and hit me another one. We don't, this isn't even, this isn't even a fair fight anymore. So, <laughs> again, we launched it perfectly. We overspin it. Had a little bit of side spin. You have a little bit of tendency to leave the toe open a little bit, so we get a little bit of cut spin. Mm -hmm. But from our standpoint, that is so much better than what we have now. Yep. Okay. So now I want to talk about something that you can practice away with from here that you don't need the Quintec every day when you practice. Mm -hmm. Shrixon has made this this golf ball the divide or the device, whatever they whatever they call this thing. Well, Ping had these golf balls years ago. Mm -hmm. There's been training golf balls that have been black and white for years. But you can take this and you can practice on the putting green. Uh, you know, you can play with it too. It's a legal golf ball. I don't yeah. know if I would play with something like that, but you can use these, you can put this down. So do you putt with a line on the ball? Yes, typically. Okay, so that divide's gonna be your line. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and set it up there. Okay. Like you're gonna set up your line and then we're gonna watch and we're gonna see how those two halves roll. Because this is a great way and, and my putting students all have golf balls, have one of these in their bag to practice with. Nice. So you go ahead and hit one, and I'll show you what I mean here. Okay. Okay. We get a little bit of wobble, mm -hmm. but not too much. Let's try it again. Okay. You also set it up a little bit. We got to got to set weird. it up just a little bit better. There you go. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and hit one. And just hit it, just hit it so it barely gets to the hole, so you can really see how the line rolls here. Okay. That's beautiful, very nice. Okay, so you've got to really take a look in, and this is a way to practice, mm -hmm. okay? This is gonna give you much better, it gives you feedback right. along with a new putter that matches up with your stroke much better, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, we got a great trade-in policy here at, at Second Swing. You might want you might want to trade that PXG. We do, I know. We're always happy to we're always happy to take good clubs like that in. So, yeah. um, getting rid of that thing. But one of the things you've learned here by coming and get a putter fitting is, you really can't go in between those two putters because mm -hmm. they don't match up. They don't match up very well for right. you. So you really have to take a look at it and say, okay, you got to commit to a style of putter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if you wanted to try some other putters, there's other styles that are similar to that Scotty that we can try. Right. Got to get away from that, got to get away from that blade, way too much hang, way too much toe hang for you. Right. So you're going to be much better with minimal toe hang to maybe even face balance. Right. So 
I hope you learned a lot here today. I did. If you come see me at Second Swing, you get some great information. We've got a Quintech, and um, it's really, if you're serious about golf, you're crazy not to come in here. Right. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It.